Beautiful people of YouTube, my name is Oliver Cat, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Rogue Lands. Now, uh, where we left off, um, we were farming the Desolate Canyons dungeon, and after I finished the recording, I was able to get myself up to level 15. It didn't take that long. With just a little bit of time, you can you can do it fairly quickly. And uh, while I was doing that, I actually got me a Ring of Bolts Axe. If you guys remember that NPC that I was talking about in last Let's Play, that you only had a 6% chance of getting a drop, uh, an axe drop from that NPC. I actually got one. And uh, it was kind of unfortunate because I didn't show, it, I wasn't, or you guys weren't there to see it, but it happened. And now this is my second axe that I have. And uh, actually during the same run, I got an awesome ass ring that gives bonuses to my strength. So level 15 with 46 strength and no armor, that's actually pretty good. And uh, well, I do have a ring. And, uh, but besides that, Today we're going to be focusing on armor and how it's created. So, uh, there are four different qualities or rarities of item. And, uh, before we get into crafting armor, I'm going to explain that to you so you guys understand what I'm doing. Uh, okay. So right here, uh, you see a bunch of items. Some are duplicates of each other. Um, the color in the background uh, kind of, well, is what basically tells you the rarity of that specific item. So, dark blue would be, like, your normal. If you've ever played Diablo, uh, Diablo had, like, different rarities of items. It could be the same item, but it's just a different rarity. It's the same idea. So, uh, dark blue is normal. These are rare, I believe they're called. Purple is epic, and gold is legendary. So, we're going to be crafting armor. The thing about crafting armor is every time you craft a piece of armor, you have a certain chance of getting a different rarity of that piece. Hopefully I'm explaining this all so you guys can understand and you guys are like, what the hell is he talking about? But before we craft armor, we have to craft the material to make them. Now you guys remember the resources that we farmed from the first dungeon. Um, I brought them here and you go to an emblem forge, which you get right at the start. Go to an emblem forge and you, uh, you select that and then you pick the materials that you have and you'll get the corresponding um, emblem to that item. So I have Tasty Herb, which I got from the first level. I'll get a Herb Emblem. Uh, Creature's Eye, which I got from the first level, etc. So on. And that goes on for a lot of the, for pretty much all the, uh, all the resources in the game. You can make a corresponding emblem, which then you take to a Gear Forge and, uh, you make stuff out of it, which is what is all, all these little things right here. You see how each of these items have a specific um, combination of emblems that's what you use to craft weapons and everything and so on so we are gonna craft brute armor for this champion because brute armor will give me the most damage and health so I believe uh, I don't remember which one was the brute armor oops uh, brute armor brute armor that's brute armor oh what am I down I'm pressing the wrong buttons here and that's brute armor okay so we're going to be making this right here, and totally do not have the right materials for this. What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright, now that I got the correct items, we are going to try and craft um, these uh, these armor pieces with a rarity higher than normal. So let's do this. Normal. Normal. Now I got to be careful because I don't have too many of these materials. I can farm them at a later date. But I gotta be careful not to waste them all in one single piece. It's also important to remember that these same um, resources that I'm using to make these emblems are the same resources that you use to make potions. So you don't want to waste them all. So, uh, I'll try three more times. And, awesome. We just got an epic. Freaking sweet. Now, Epics, the higher the rarity, the better the item is, the more stats it gives you, which is exactly what I'm going for here. It took me eight, nine tries to, uh, to get a purple, which is good. Now, we're going to do that with the armor piece. And I have, I still have a decent amount. Maybe I can get lucky and get it right up. Nope, no. <laughs> right on the this one. This one's good. Nope, not, not, it's not going to be it. This one's going to be it. Nope. I'm really good at not getting this right. Uh, <laughs> come on. I, all right, I got one more shot at getting something higher than normal. If not, all right. So uh, we're stuck with pretty much that. Now we're going to make a shield. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the shield. And we got a rare. 
I'm gonna do this a few times because I have... Oh, there we go! Legendary shield. And awesome, it gives me a crap ton of stats. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. We're good to go now, we are ready to run some dungeons. What I'm gonna do is actually throw these out. Alright, now that I cleaned up my inventory, we are gonna head to the second dungeon and start farming that for our next set of materials. So to do that, we're gonna go to this computer. I keep forgetting that you can teleport to it. Uh, we're gonna go here, and that's definitely not it. Uh, we're gonna go to the hollow caverns. There's two levels that you can con technically consider level two, and that's hollow caverns and the jungle, but the jungle, there's like a poison debuff that the creatures have there, and it's a lot more difficult when you have lower HP. So we're gonna go to the hollow caverns and see how badly I do there. So we're gonna select that. Before I go, I'm going to make some more potions. Alright, we're ready to go. Let's do this. Alright. So hopefully, I do enough... Yes, I do. I do do enough damage to kill them all in one shot. But this this is exa exactly what I expected to do. By the time... Uh, when you have enough resources and you figure out how to play, by the time you go to the next dungeon, you want to have enough damage to kill everything in one shot. At least that's how I... That's kind of how I play. Now... Not sure how well I'll do against the boss here. The boss here is a bit more difficult than the boss in uh, the first level. But let's see. I, I think the boss has like a crap ton more health. Let the way you summon the boss on this level is simply mining the resources here. Eventually you'll get a warning telling you you should stop mining. You just ignore the warning, keep mining, you'll summon the boss. And I believe this is actually... There we go, the warnings. That's one of them. I believe this level is one of the only levels where you can summon the boss multiple times. Hopefully I do well. I should be able to kill this boss with no sweat, now that I have a ranged melee weapon. And I seem to be killing everything fairly quickly. That's my... Okay, so yeah, I have 66 strength right now, which is awesome for level 15. Gonna get this. I have a feeling that the portals are already over there. I might have crossed the map. Don't mind there. Okay, so that's our last warning. When he tells you don't mind the ore, it'll only take like two or three more ores before you actually summon the before you actually summon the boss. Ugh, I'm in a really bad spot right now. Give me one second. I just need to. I'm gonna get ready to summon the boss, but I gotta get ready. I gotta put myself in a place where these things aren't there. I'm gonna actually drop down. Oof. Alright, the boss should be... Nope, there it is. Oh! Oh, there we go. I killed it. Thought it was gonna be a lot harder than that. But, uh, with the amount of damage I'm doing right now at level 16 is actually... Actually pretty high. I was... I actually expected to die, so... <laughs> Hopefully I don't, because I really don't want to lose this item, this axe. And the shield. We can go here. Just, now we're just gonna finish up the rest of the dungeon. There we go. Now, if I keep mining these ores and there's enough ores in the level... Yep, yeah, there we go. We got a warning again. You can actually summon the boss multiple times. Farm it for its shield. It drops a, a shield. Uh, one thing I also forgot to mention is... Getting an item for an NPC is one thing, but getting a item that is a higher rarity than normal from an NPC is another thing. So, <laughs> items that are high rarity from NPC are like extremely rare compared to uh, compared to most. There we go. Oh, it actually wasn't that hard when I wasn't like jumping around like a maniac. Pretty sweet. And I'm just gonna eat that right there, eat that damage. And we're gonna exit. Oh, man, these things do a lot. I'm just gonna keep flying into it uh, again. I have, I literally have three health literally have three health one more hit from that i probably would have died uh we're gonna go to the hollow caverns hollow caverns again go to the pylon get some exp for my weapon and right there awesome we're gonna check if the shop here has anything worth buying oh one other thing i forgot to mention during those runs i was able to get a few chips and uh i got two strength bonus ones and vitality i also got this shield here now, this shield is usually used for mages, but I figured since I'm going to be up close and personal, I'd use it as well, but you see how well I've been doing that. Not at all. So we're going to go here. Okay, so I dropped off of the items or the resources I collected from that last level into the bank. I cut it out so you guys didn't have to see it. 
Alright, let's do this level one more time then. Let's see how quickly I die. The levels, the further you go, the more interesting the levels get. Um, I made it to the Bifrost, if you guys already know about the game. I made it to the Bifrost, which is like, Bifrost and, uh, what is it, the fire area. I made, uh, anyways, I made it pretty decently far, and I only had a few levels to go. Some say these are the blah blah blah, the blah 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 blahs. So, <laughs> um, yes, Oliver, your immature jokes entertain so well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gonna keep mining this, it's again, so don't mind it. See, we got our final warning. I think it's not the blue ones, but the black ones I need to mine to... to summon in. Here's the NPC to this level. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if he dropped anything rare. I know he gives you a ticket that you use to go to a special area of the game. I'm not gonna read his dialogue. But he gave me a glob of aether. Now these globs can be used to uh, to give you XP, a random amount of XP. And the more you have, the more you can. Oop! I, I just used up my potions instead. The more you have, the more you can spam them. See, every time I use them, I get a random amount of XP. I'm trying to save them, so whenever I'm like trying to rush a build, I can just spam a bunch of those, and instantly get to level one. Right, here we go. Oh crap! I didn't even see him. Holy crap! Alright, gotta try and kill this guy. There we go. Dead. Level up. Gonna move out of here. Activate my shield. See? I used my shield that time. Do that. I actually got a card from one of the creatures here. Pretty sweet. Finish up this dungeon. Oh. 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 Okay, there goes my shield. So that's what that's what the shield does. It only negates like one fourth damage. And uh, the, based on your uh, how high your faith is, so it's really good for healers or mages. Uh, I do have that th that ability on my one mage. What if we can summon? We can try and summon this guy one more time. Let's see what happens. I doubt it though. The amount of orders it takes. And it's just gonna keep running into that shit. Mind this right here. I really, I really do hate the the obstacles on this level. I really, really do. These are a pain in the ass. They do a crap ton of damage in the early game. I'm gonna heal. Let's see, can I... S yes. Alright, so I got the final warning. Let's see if I can summon him one more time before I leave. Man, it just wipes the floor with all the, all the enemy mobs. We're gonna go back down. We're gonna try and summon him. Fight him one more time before we go. Holy crap, there's a butt ton of them. Mind that, or harvest that. How about this? Will this activate it? No. Right, this should definitely do it. Nope, that didn't do anything. There we go. Alright, now we're gonna encounter the boss again. We're gonna move over here. Oh, and that is my, that is my alarm. Ignore that. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the video with that. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please drop a like. Um, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to leave the link in the description to where you can purchase this game on Steam. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll leave it at that. My name is Oliver Cat, and I'm signing off. Goodbye.